What's up, Knights? I'm Jacob Magdaleno. And I'm Rita Rios. Welcome to the Royal Report News. Happy Friday, everyone. Honestly, I'm ready for the weekend and a little bit of relaxation. As we wrap up the month of February, let's talk about what this month is all about. Right. Black History Month honors the contribution of African Americans to U.S. history. The most prominent include Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks. But we want to take a moment to spotlight a few unsung heroes who died in the last year. Like Herman Cain. He earned a master's degree in computer science. Then, as the CEO of Godfather's Pizza, he turned the company around in just 14 months. He was a political activist who's an example that hard work pays off. Sadly, he passed away in July of 2020. Walter e. Williams earned a doctorate in economics. He used his doctrine to continue his fight for African Americans. The world lost a prominent economist, author, and educator in December 2020. We are thankful for all of our African-American heroes fighting for equality and justice. Okay, let's jump ahead to March. For all the juniors, I hope you're ready. Wait, I'm a junior. Don't tell me you forgot about the ACTs. I kind of did. I might need some tips on that. I can't give you any because I'm a sophomore, but I know someone who can. Wait, isn't it Jessica? ACT time is a stressful time for many students, but there are things that can help turn that stress into trying your best. One thing I feel important to know is that you are not the same as anyone. Neither is the way your brain attains information. So remember, for all of these tips, stick to what works for you. Tip number one, give yourself months to prepare. Don't cram, study small sections continuously. Tip number two, take practice tests. There are multiple on the ACT website itself, but there are also study booklets you can buy. Tip number three, if accessible, refer to friends who have already taken the test. Your experience won't be the same as theirs, but it could help ease some of your worries. And tip number four, familiarize yourself with the test directions. Take your last practice test a week before the ACT. For more tips, go to yournightlife.com. Thank you, Jessica. You didn't let me finish. Wait, this happened to me before. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> it's cool. Um, okay, on my way to class this afternoon, I saw a lot of food on the ground. What was that all about? Now looking back, I saw some too. Which reminds me, Natalia has a few things to say about that. Hey Knights, do you get lunch from school? Do you eat it all or throw some of it away? Well, some students don't even eat all their food at lunch that they take for free. I walked around school to see if there was any food around campus or the parking lots. I also stopped by the cafeteria to see if the lunch manager had some input on this. The USDA has is reimbursing the school district for what they call a compatible meal, which is very strictly set by the government fruit, vegetable, the meat portion, and the bread portion, or the grain portion, and the milk. And that's all we can give out for free is one portion of that per student per day. Any of the extras, I know some kids want more milk or whatever, and they think it's free. That's not free. That goes back to a la carte pricing or regular street pricing. So that's where some of the confusion comes from. But yeah, the standard portion is set by the government. We have all kind of documentation to make sure we're serving it right. Thank you. Thank You're very you. welcome. This can cost as much as $1.7 billion each school year. So make sure that if you are going to take free lunch from school to eat it all, if you think that you can't, either save it or just don't take one at all. Thank you, Natalia. Well, that's all we have for you today, Knights. Wait, actually, no, that's not all we have for you today. What do you mean? Well, we have a new segment called Flashback Fridays. Yay. We are going to show you a picture of a teacher, and you have to guess who it is. And to make it even more fun, we've chosen some pictures from the old yearbooks. So, can you guess who this is? If you know who this is, have your teacher email Miss Norman now. Now that's all we have for you today, Knights. I'm Yuri Rios. Remember, stay classy, stay sassy, and a little... I'm Jacob Magdaleno, and have a great day.